Quizzing disciples have come to take on this divine diva. Will she bestow a £10,000 jackpot today? Let's find out on Tipping Point. Welcome to Tipping Point. Let's meet the four players who are hoping to win thousands today. I'm Tracy, a sales assistant from County Durham. I'm Andrew, a concierge manager from London. I'm Taylor, a copywriter from Manchester. And I'm Chris, a sociology student from Bath. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. So in round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine, or if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will add 50 pounds to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which of course come with the bonus prize. But also nestled in the machine, we do have two double counters. If one of those falls for you, it'll double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with the jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. However, do remember, the player with the lowest score at the end of this round will have to leave the game. So keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. OK, everybody ready? Yep. Hands on your buzzers. Here comes your first question. Former Young Ones actor Adrian Edmondson joined the residence of Albert Square on which BBC soap in 2019? Taylor. Is it EastEnders? It is EastEnders. Of course it is. Well done, Taylor. <laughs> So first correct answer for you, so you get to make the first choice. Would you like to play or pass? I think I'm going to go for it. I've got my eye on that double counter already. Lovely stuff. So could I go for drop zone two, please? Of course you can. Fire up two for Taylor, please. Oh. Good settle there, Taylor. Nice release. Anything coming over the top shelf? Come on now, machine. How generous oh. you feeling? Yes. Oh. It's not far off the double either, Taylor. It's going to be close. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> Just shuffled the tipping point, sadly. Nothing's going to go. So nothing from your first drop. Here's your next question. Founded in 1824, Cadbury is known for making products using what cocoa-based... Tracy? Chocolate. Ingredient. It is chocolate. Of course it is. Uh, Tracy, are you going to play? Yes, please, Ben. Where are you going to go? Um, I think I'll go for drop zone two, please. Drop zone two for Tracy now. Tracy. Oh, settle, oh. settle, settle. Oh, we've got away with it. Oh. Lucky. <laughs> One of those maverick drops there, yeah. Tracy, on the release. And they're going to stay there. So, sadly, nothing from your first drop. Next question. At the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup, Manchester City footballer Steph Horton captained the team of which UK nation? Tracy. England. Of course she is. She's the England captain. Well done. You're going to play this time again, Tracy? Yes, please, Ben. I think I'll go for drop zone two again, please. Right, light up two, please. And get me timing right this time. Yes, don't mess it up this time, Tracy. No rush. It's all about the release. And that's right where mm. you left your last one. This could yeah. work nicely, in fact. You're going to get a double ooh, shove ooh, here, ooh, ooh. Tracy. It worked very nicely. So now look oh. at the top shelf. You could still get them. You set the tipping point up. And they ain't gonna go. They're not sure they're quite ready. No, oh. they're not. Oh, not yet. <laughs> Hard luck, Tracy. So Tracy, you're down to your last counter now. Okay, thanks. Next question. According to the popular rhyme, sing a song of sixpence. When the pie was opened, what did the birds begin to do? Tracy. Sing. Yes, they did. Right then. What are you thinking, Tracy? Are you gonna go for it or are you gonna pass? I think I'll actually go for it, Ben. Um, drops on two again, please. Right, let's see if it works. Bar up two. It's all in your hands here, Tracy. Yeah. I'm just trying <laughs> to avoid that big old gap in the middle. Oh, no, no I'm don't not ride. sure. I'm not sure it'll be flat. Oh, oh it's right, Tracy. Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. That's really tough, Tracy. Just slides up and rides on top. So nothing from your third counter. I'm so sorry. That's nothing out of the machine. You have used all three. So for the time being, Tracy, you are out. Andrew and Chris, you've both got three counters left each. Taylor, you've still got two. Next question for the three of you. 
Subduction zones are regions of the Earth's crust that are boundaries between two tectonic what? Andrew. Plates. Tectonic plates is right, yes. You ready to play, Andrew? I am, yes. Where would you like to go? I'm a little bit nervous of two because there does seem to be a bit of a gap there. Top so shelf's a bit I sketchy, isn't it? I am going to try one, please. All right, so we come at it from the right. Fire up yeah. one, please. I like your thinking here, Andrew. Is it going to pay off? Hopefully. <laughs> Hard on the left. Let's see if we can get you some money then. Let's hope. Couple over the top. Oh, <laughs> I will take it. Money. <laughs> Finally, something from the machine. 50 pounds drops for you, Andrew. Well done. Thank you. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. So you're off the mark with 50 pounds. And you've got two counters still to play. Thanks. Here's your next question. Caerphilly Castle is a famous landmark located in which country of the UK, Taylor? Wales. It is Wales, yes. Just beat Chris to that one. Uh, Taylor, are you going to play or are you going to pass? I'm going to play. Um, I'm a bit scared of two because of the gap, so I'm going <laughs> to follow Andrew's lead and go for one. Let's do it. Fire up drop zone one. Someone's going to have to be brave and try and plug that gap. <laughs> yeah, Ooh. it's on the right. Needed to settle. Bring Might that mystery push that down. mystery prize over. Does. Anything going here? Oh, oh it's a yeah, nice drop. Well, well done. Yes. Yay. Well done, Taylor. Six across the tipping point, which is 300 pounds. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. So you're off the mark with 300 pounds. You've got one counter still to play as well. So good drop. Well done. Okay, next question. Which boy's name goes before Lewis in the common name of a major British department store? Taylor. John. Famous for its Christmas adverts. It is John Lewis. Right, you've got one counter left. Okay. You feeling um, braver? No, I think I'm going <laughs> to stick with one, please, Ben. Drop someone one again. Thank you. Similar spot. No. Could mm. be good again. Six last time. What can we get this time, Taylor? Oh, that's a nice slide. They've separated well. Hopefully. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Seven counters this time. 350 pounds. Two lovely drops for you for the last two counters. Let's take it and put it into your bank, Taylor. And that's going to leave you on 650 pounds. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, you are out. Okay. It's just Andrew and Chris left in. Here's your next question. Which city in the US state of Pennsylvania shares its name with a popular brand of cream cheese? Andrew. Philadelphia. It is Philadelphia, yes. Right. How brave are you feeling? I'm going to try take that gap and... Number two, and hopefully Drop push zone it forward. Two. Yeah. Far up two, please. Just that big old gaping hole. It looks enormous, Andrew, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think you've avoided it. I could work with that. Let's see. It's the ones in the middle you need over. They've gone. That's how close they were to going. Ooh, this could be good. good. So is the double going to go to? Yes, yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> Nicely done, Andrew. Thank you. Eight across the tipping point, 400 pounds. <laughs> But it's worth going for being brave because the double fell. And we can double it up and give you another £400. So that's going to put you in the lead. When we take it from the machine and put it into your bank, you're on £850 now. And you've still got one more counter to play. Here's your next question for Andrew and Chris. The Conservative Prime Minister, who was defeated by Tony Blair's Labour Party in the 1997 general election, was John who? Chris. Major. It was John Major, yes. Nicely done, Chris. So, are you ready to play? Yes, I'll go for three, I think. Drop zone three? Yeah. Let's do it. Fire up three, please. Take your time here, Chris. We need this to be a good one. We need to get you in the game. When you're ready, you can release your first counter into the machine. Very nicely timed. Settle. Very nicely timed. It got down quickly, didn't it? It did. Let's see if we can get something over the top shelf. Yes, we can. Now we're looking to break the seal on three. Maybe Nick something from two. Yes, not bad. Four counters for you there, Chris. It's a good start. Two hundred pounds. Let's take it and put it straight into your bank. So it gets you off the mark, Chris, with two hundred pounds. Okay. We've still got two counters to play. Here's the next question for Andrew and Chris. In June 1842, Queen Victoria made a journey from Slough to London, becoming the first British monarch to travel by which steam-powered mode of transport? Andrew train. Yes, that is correct. It is a train. Uh, now, your last counter. Do you want to play it or do you want to pass to Chris? I think I'm going to play it. If okay, that's where all right, going to go? I'm going to take drop zone three. Please. All right, drop zone three for Andrew. <laughs> Rap 
Good job. <laughs> Good job. Comes down and settles further right this time. They're going to get split. They are a little bit, aren't they? Sadly, Andrew, nothing from your final counter. You have got yourself 850 pounds, though. You have used all three of your counters, though, so for the time being, you are out. Right then, Chris, it's just you now, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to both these questions to put them into the machine. OK, here we go. Here's your first one. A segment called The Power Down Playlist is most associated with an evening show presented by Annie Mack on which BBC radio station? True. It's not Radio 2, it's Radio 1, I'm afraid, Chris. So we have to steal a counter from you. That's going into the premise pot. You'll all get a chance to play for that at the end of the round. Again, Chris, you've got one counter left. You need to try and give me the correct answer to put it into the machine. Here we go. In 2018, Netflix confirmed that the actress who would play Princess Margaret in the third series of The Crown would be Helena Bonham Carter. Who? Yes, well done, Chris. No problems with that one. Good stuff. Right, let's see if we can get you some more money. Where are you thinking now? I think three. Drop zone three again. Nicely timed. Let's see if we can get something over that top shelf. Tipping point looks pretty good, doesn't it, Chris? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, there's a few here. Yeah. And they spread nicely as they separate. And that's a very nice drop to finish. Six counters. Nicely done. 300 pounds. Let's take it from the machine and put it into your bank. So the scores are as follows. Andrew is leading with 850 pounds. Taylor has 650, Chris 500, Tracy's got nothing in the bank, but it's not over. We have one counter up for grabs in the panic part. I'm going to ask you all one more question. If you buzz in and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. If you buzz in and give me the wrong answer, you will be frozen out. Good luck, everybody. Here comes your panic pot question. Which Asian country is sometimes known colloquially as Nam? Taylor. Vietnam. It is Vietnam. Well done, Taylor. Tracy, I'm so sorry. That means we're going to lose you at the end of the round. That's OK, Ben. One more counter for you here, Taylor. I'm going to go drop zone three, please, Ben. OK, let's do it. Fire up three, please. No whip drop settled well. I think it might feel that gap in the bottom. There is a little gap, but you might squeeze a few here, Taylor. Four counters Ooh. to catch, Andrew, and that's four counters. Nicely done. Well done. 200 pounds. With the permanent spot count, let's take it and put it into your bank. And we can see what that's done to the scores. It means that Andrew and Taylor both have 850 pounds. Chris is through with 500 pounds. Tracy, I'm so sorry, but that means with nothing in the bank, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Tracy. Thank you, Ben. I've had a lovely day. So join us after the break to see which of today's three remaining players will win through to our head-to-head -head and a shot at our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Andrew, Taylor and Chris have all survived to play round two. Now, in this round, they'll each have 30 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer will give them a counter to play into the machine. As before, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will leave the game. Now, Andrew and Taylor, you both have £850, but by virtue of the fact that Taylor answered the question correctly before Andrew in the last round, you get to choose. Is the machine ready? Would you like to play first? Or would you like to maybe ask Andrew or Chris to play instead? I don't think any of the drop zones are tickling my fancy right now, so I'm going to be really mean and I'm going to pass to Chris. Right then, Chris. Right. She's putting you up front and central. 30 seconds for Chris, please. Your time starts now. Which single letter of the alphabet is the international car registration code for Portugal? A P. Correct. What word goes before P in the English name of the fragrant flowering plant Lathyrus odoratus? Pass. Sweet. Musician Guy Garvey is the front man of which Mercury Prize winning berry based indie band? Pass. Elbow. In the nursery rhyme Hickory Dickory Dock, which animal ran up the clock? Mouse. Correct. The restaurant chain La Tasca specialises in the cuisine of which country? Italian. Spain. On which major African river did the Victorian Falls lie? Uh, pass. The Zambezi. Uh, two correct answers in there, Chris. You've got two chances to try and catch Taylor and Andrew. So where would you like to put the first counter? Drop zone four. OK, let's have drop zone four for Chris, please. Very quick drop. Hectic settle. Might get at that double. Anything going over here? Yes. Is the tipping point going to go? Oh, yes, it does. Two sneak in. Let's give you £100 for those two. 
And one more to go. Chris, where now? I think stay with drop zone four. Four again. Little ambient drop there, just in front of drop zone four. Let's just keep an eye on this. Nope, nothing else has fallen. Would you like to stick with drop zone four? No, I'll stay with drop zone four. Four again, please. Slams on the left. Now, that doesn't look too bad. Can we get something over the top? Yes, we can. Oh, they've oh, slid nice. out nicely. There's one. Oh, goodness wow. me, Chris, what a drop. <laughs> Chris, you needed five to catch Taylor and Andrew. That's another 12 across oh, the tipping wow. point, which is a belting drop. 600 pounds takes you to 700 pounds in the machine. Let's take that and put it into your bank, and you have definitely taken advantage of playing first. because you're <laughs> Now in the lead with 1,200 pounds. So well done, Chris. Right then, Taylor, we come back to you. You can decide to go next or you could ask Andrew to play. I'm going to go next. I've learned right. my lesson. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably wise. Uh, 30 seconds for Taylor, please. Your time starts now. Made by McVitie's, what spice comes before the word nuts in the name of a country biscuit? Meg. Ginger. No. <laughs> in the Fifty Shades film series, Jamie Dornan plays Christian who? Grey. Correct. By definition, a chemical compound known as a fluoride must contain which chemical element? Fluorine. Correct. Basking, thresher and hammerhead are species of which Shark. fish? Correct. The geometric formula 2 pi r is used to calculate the circumference of which shape? Um, a square. A circle. Which British city includes areas called Aston and Sparkbrook? I don't know. Birmingham. It's Birmingham. Uh, three correct answers in there, Taylor. Okay. You've given yourself three counters. Now, pressure is on because you want to try and separate yourself from Andrew and, if possible, catch Chris. Mm -hmm. So where would you like to start? I'm going to go drop zone two, please, Ben. All right, let's have drop zone two, please. Ooh, I think that's going to fill that gap. Might. If you can get enough on that little stack of counters there, it might help you. Yeah. Oh, they separated, which is always good. Yeah. Always helps. Three okay. counters drop in. Let's give you 150 pounds for those three there, Taylor. Two more to go, Taylor. Can I switch to drop zone one, please, Ben? Yeah, let's have drop zone one. It's a mystery on the edge there yeah, as well, isn't there? Yeah, I've got my eye on that mystery there. Oh. Might not get the mystery, but we need to try and get a few more counts if we can. Mm, I think that might fill the gap. One more sneaks in. Another 50 pounds. Chipping away at that lead of Chris's. We still need three more to catch Chris Taylor, and you've got one more to put in. I'd like to stay in drop zone one, please, Ben. All right, drop zone one it is. Ooh, Ooh. Drop. That could be good. That could be good if it's flat. Good okay. squeeze here. Yep. Yeah. Looking for those three to catch Chris. You gonna get them? Oh, it's two. It's not quite enough. 100 pounds goes in to the machine. 300 pounds we can take and put it into your bank, Taylor. And that's going to leave you on 1,150 pounds. So 50 pounds short of Chris. And the challenge now comes to you, Andrew. 30 seconds for Andrew, please. Your time starts now. The West End musical with the tagline, the smash hit musical based on the songs of ABBA is Mama What? Mama Mia. Correct. Which small orange citrus fruit is the nickname of Blackpool Football Club? Clementine? Tangerine. AL is the standard two-letter abbreviation for which US state? Uh, AL. AL, the past. Alabama. According to a well-known saying, birds of a feather flock... Together. Correct. The name of which planet in our solar system begins with the letter N? Neptune. Correct. Percy Thrillington was an alter ego for which former Beatles singer? Oh. Did you know? I didn't, to be it honest. It was Paul McCartney. <laughs> Percy Thrillington, what a name. <laughs> uh, you, like Taylor, have got three correct answers, Andrew. You've got three counters. You need six to catch Taylor. Where are you going to try and find those? What looks good, Andrew? I am going to try drop zone one. OK, let's do it. Drop zone one for Andrew, please. Yeah, that could be good for the mystery. We're looking for six counters. So clear one over here. Is it going to go through? Come on, then. Oh, that's three. That's not a bad start, Andrew. 150 pounds right there. Two more to go. 
Where now? I might as well go for that mystery count, so I'm gonna go for drop zone one again, please. Drop zone one it is. Slides and settles. Slides off, yeah. Need to try and close this gap if we can. Might get one more here. You do oh. get one more. 50 pounds. You're sneaking up on Taylor. <laughs> Takes you to 200 pounds in the machine. So, Andrew, you need two more to catch Taylor. Anything less than two and you're going home. <laughs> Sadly, those two, oh. Andrew, have fallen just out of play. <laughs> They'll have to be voided from the machine. You've got one more counter to put in. Um. What are you thinking? I think I'm gonna try for drop zone. Oh, I'm hoping it's not gonna fill that gap, but drop zone four, please. Drop zone four? Let's try it. Fire up drop zone four. If you get it right on the edge, the right-hand side, you've got a chance, haven't you? Hopefully. That top shelf has a bit of a gap. We need a nice drop here. Oh, it's right, right on right the money. <laughs> but hopefully it'll push What do you think, over. Taylor? Oh, I think he's gonna catch me. Is it gonna be enough? Is there two to drop? There is two to drop. <laughs> Just. <laughs> it's exactly what you needed. A hundred pounds goes in, Andrew. That's 300 pounds. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. We can see what it's done to the scores. It is very, very tight. Chris is through to the head-to-head -head with 1,200 pounds. Both Taylor and Andrew have 1,150 pounds. Only one of you can join him in the head-to-head. -head, so it's time for sudden death. Back on the buzzers. I'm going to ask you both one more question. If you buzz and give me the correct answer, you go through with Chris the next round. If you buzz and give me the wrong answer, your opponent will go through, okay? Best of luck to both of you. Here comes your sudden death question. Coins is an anagram of the name of which blue hedgehog from a famous video game franchise? Andrew. Sonic. It is Sonic. Well done, Andrew. You <laughs> literally just speak Taylor to it. Taylor, I'm so, so sorry. It comes down to milliseconds, but I'm afraid that means we're going to lose you. We have come to the end of the round, and what a dramatic finish it was. Chris is our leader with £1,200. Andrew gets through on sudden death with £1,150. Taylor, I'm so sorry, but that does mean with your £1,150, we have found your tipping point. Thank you for playing, Taylor. Thank you for having me. I've had a great day. Our pleasure. Lovely to meet you. Uh, so it is Andrew and Chris who will be going head to head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Tipping point. Welcome back to Tipping Point. Just two players remain, Andrew and Chris. Well done to both of you for getting this far. We're about to find out which one of you is going to be playing for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. If you give me a correct answer, you put a counter into the machine. If you give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the counter into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. Uh, Chris, you are leading after that wonderful round two drop. So you get to choose. Would you like the first question? We'd like to offer it to Andrew. I'd like to pass to Andrew, I think. Right then, first question for you, Andrew, here. <laughs> Rami Malek won an Emmy Award in 2016 for his role as computer hacker Elliot Alderson in which drama series? So you can play this or you can pass it to Chris. I think I'm gonna pass it to Chris. I yeah. think he might not know the answer, so I'm <laughs> hoping that I might be right. <laughs> Let's see, have you heard of Rami Malek? No. No, okay. <laughs> um, doesn't help. Um, I'm not really, I, I'll just say X-Men. X-Men, you've yeah. got to give me something. Let's find out. Is the answer X-Men? No, it's Mr. Robot. It's on That's Amazon right. Prime. Okay. Stars Christian Slater as well. A really great right. series. Uh, nice pass, Andrew. Chris was wrong, he didn't know it. So you get to try and draw first blood here. Where do you want to go? Drop zone four, please. Right, let's have drop zone four for Andrew. Just squeeze it forward. <laughs> yeah. That was close, wasn't it? But you got Good away one. with it. Luckily. And a couple over the top. Is the tipping point going to go? Yes, it is. Two counters drop in, Andrew. Nicely done. 100 pounds. So let's take it and put it into your bank. And that sneaks you into the lead by 50 pounds. You now have 1,250 pounds. Control passes to you, Chris. Time for your first question. OK. Which comic who co-wrote and performed in The Goon Show published war memoirs entitled Adolf Hitler, My Part in His Downfall? You can play or you can pass. I think I'm going to take a chance and uh, answer this one. OK. I'm pretty sure it was Spike Milligan. Spike Milligan. 
Andrew, if he'd pass this over, would this have rung any bells with you? I have absolutely no idea, but probably Spike Lee, perhaps. Spike Lee? <laughs> that would have been an interesting choice. <laughs> yeah. Chris, you've gone for this. Is the answer Spike Milligan? It is indeed. Great answer, Chris. Where do you want to put the counter now? We need to close this gap. Andrew's just snuck ahead of you. I think I might try drop zone three and hope it goes to the right. Fire up three, please. So, let's see, Chris, when you're ready. Put your counter in. Right-hand side would be ideal. Yeah, there we go. So, if we can take a few off the top. And a couple more. Anything across the tipping point? They're going to get close. Are they going to go? No, they're not. They're just going to ease up and tease you, Chris, sitting on the edge there. Right then, we come back to you, Andrew. Time for your second question. In order of their distance outward from the sun, how many planets come between the sun and the Earth? I'm going to pass this to Chris. I don't think he would know this, to be honest with you, and I'm going to be strategic in this one. Being strategic, <laughs> and he doesn't want to take the risk. Right then, Chris, you can work this out. I think there was a little slogan, I think, something about my educated mother. So I think it's the sun, then Mercury, then the Earth. So I think it's probably one. So you're going to go with one? Um, yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll go with one. Just Mercury. the one? Yeah. OK. Andrew, what do you reckon? What were you thinking? To be honest, I actually didn't know, so... You didn't know, so you had to pass <laughs> to be it. Fair, yeah. Let's find out. Is it just one? Oh, it's two. It's my very educated oh. mother. Mercury and Venus. Uh, Andrew, nice pass. You get the counter. Chris was very close, but he was wrong. So you get to put the counter in the machine. I think Chris has built number three up quite nicely, so I think I'm hoping it's going to go to the right. Let's do it. Fire up three. It doesn't fill that gap there. Mm, there's a bit of a gap. It might take the ones there in the middle is. out. Just hoping. Oh, oh no. Maybe not. Are they going to hold themselves? Just being pinned. Oh, it's oh, all right. Pretty ah, good. They might be riding. I think it is riding, unfortunately. It might squeeze. It's quite tightly packed. That silver one could go. Oh, it won't. So, fortunately, no damage done there, Chris. We come to right. you. Time for your second question. Containing a person's genetic information, Deoxyribonucleic acid is better known by what three-letter abbreviation? Uh, I'm going to answer this one. I think I'm pretty sure of this one. OK. Um, I think it's DNA. DNA. Andrew, you're nodding. You'd have said the same? I would have said the same. You yes. would have said the same. Let's find out. Deoxyribonucleic acid, is it better known as DNA? Yes. First discovered in 1869. Oh, we need to try and discover some counters here, Chris, to close this gap. <laughs> Yes. What are you um, thinking? I'll go for four, I think. All right. Let's have four, please. Brave move this. Let's see if it works, Chris, when you're ready. Oh, hard uh, on the right. Wrong side. Need that silver one over in the corner to have any chance. Is it going to be enough? You could do it. There's a few on the tipping point here. There is indeed three counters there, Chris. 150 pounds. That's going to steal the lead back from Andrew. Let's take it and put it into your bank. Suddenly, you are leading again by £100, 1,350 pounds to Andrew's 1,250. Andrew, you get control. Time for your third and final question. What US state was named the Sandwich Islands by Captain James Cook after he made landfall there in 1778? I'm going to pass to Chris on this one. OK. The only islands that I know that are a, a US state is uh, the Hawaiian Islands, so I'll go for Hawaii. You go for Hawaii. What do you reckon, Andrew? I don't know, to be fair. You so weren't sure, no. so you had to pass it. Let's see if you're right. It's a great steal if you are right, Chris. Is the answer Hawaii? Yes. Well done. <laughs> Named in honor of the fourth Earl of Sandwich, apparently, the Sandwich Islands. Chris, you get the counter. Where do you want to go? I'll try drop zone four again. Four up, please. Be nice to get one down the left, wouldn't it? Come towards that mystery. <laughs> ah, not having it, though. That might just fill a gap there, I think. Yeah. Just change the shelf a touch, but mm. nothing's coming over. Right, then. Chris, you do keep control. Time for your third and final question. OK. In 2016, which Paralympic swimmer won Young Sports Personality of the Year? You can pass this if you're not sure. 
I, I can think of half the answer, I think, so uh, I think I'm going to pass. Right, Andrew, we're looking for a Paralympic swimmer. I, sadly enough, do not have an answer. OK, can you I give don't... me a name of some sort? I need something, I'm afraid. Jessica Beale. Jessica Beale. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. Uh, Chris, what was the half that you did have? Ellie. Ellie something or other. Yeah. You weren't sure of the second name. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Jessica Beale? <laughs> no, it's not. But I don't think it's the Ellie you think it is. Ellie Robinson was young sports person of the year oh. in 2016. Ellie Simmons might be the Ellie yes, that you were thinking yes. of, who's a much uh, sort of very famous and successful Paralympic swimmer. But yeah. it's Ellie Robinson. Fortunately, you passed it. Andrew, that was a really tough one for you, I'm afraid. But it does mean that we're going to lose you at the end of the round. And it also means, Chris, congratulations. You are today's winner. One more count to put in here as well. Where would you like to put it? I'll go for the drop turn four. Let's have four, please. A little bit further left, isn't it? Is it far enough left, yes. do you think, Chris? Would have been nice a bit further left. But... Maybe being the double down. Yeah, there we go. Might work its way over there. Those two silver ones are going to go. Yes, they are. You got them in the end. So yeah. 100 pounds drop in. Just keep an eye on it. And there's another one as well, Chris, that drops in. They're all yours. Three across the tipping point, so 150 pounds. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, with £1,500, Chris, congratulations. Thank you. You are today's winner. Very well played to you. Andrew, I'm so sorry. It's been brilliant fun, but I'm afraid with £1,250, we have found know. your tipping point. Thanks, Thanks for playing, much. Andrew. Thank you. Thanks been very much. To meet you. I've had a great day. Good stuff. Now then, Chris is our winner. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. Now, this one's a little bit bigger than all the others, but so much better, because if you can get it out again, you're going to go home with £10,000. Can Chris master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? We'll find out after the break. Welcome back to the final part of Tipping Point. It is Chris, who is our winner today, and has managed to get £1,500. Very well done, Chris. Thank you, Ben. It's quite a comeback from round one to where you are here. Yes, it is. About to take on the machine for our jackpot. What made you decide to come on Tipping Point, Chris? Well, my wife gave me great encouragement, and she's been, uh, yeah, pushing me all the way. So. Fantastic. What's your wife's name? Erin. Great stuff. Now, we've got the chance for you to walk away with our jackpot today, Chris. If right. we were to get the jackpot counter out, what do you think you'd like to do with the money? Uh, I'd like to take her in uh, back to California to her uh, family and uh, go and visit the uh, brother and sister. Amazing. Whereabouts in California are they? Uh, San Francisco. Oh, what a beautiful yeah. city as yeah. well. Well, that would be a wonderful trip yes. and a great way of topping off an amazing experience and a great success today. So fingers crossed, Chris, we get you this jackpot counter. Yeah, sure. Time to find out whether Chris is going to win our jackpot. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot counter into the machine. If you want to go home with £10,000, you just right. need to get it out again. Okay. If you want to go home with £20,000, you can see that double counter that's hidden on the bottom shelf of Drop Zone 4. See if you can get them to fall together, Chris. Right. Here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to show you six question categories. For each category, you choose to play one, two, or three counts into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question will be. The more you win, the better your chances of getting the jackpot counter out. Yeah. All right? So, what are you thinking about our precious jackpot counter? Where would you like to put it? Uh, I think I'll go for Drop Zone 4. Let's do it then. Four up, please. So, let's see how we get on here, Chris. And it is Just right where up, I wanted it. Perfect drop. Now that should drive forward nicely. Take out a few on that top shelf. And you never know as that comes forward. There's a fair few on the bottom. Are there anyone going to go? One sneaks in. <laughs> we can collect the rest as we go. There's a mystery counter there. Let's add that £50 in. Takes to £1,550, but you've got your jackpot counter tight up against that edge of the machine. So we're looking good. Let's have a look at your categories then, Chris. This is what we have for you. Science, TV, sport, history, celebrities, and religion. You can play them in any order you like. So where do you want to start for how many? Uh, I think I'll just go top to bottom, and um, I'll go science for three. All right. Science for three to get us started, please. Which precious metal has the chemical symbol AU? Gold, platinum, or silver? I think I can rule out platinum. Um, it's, it's either gold or silver, and... I think gold is AU. I think silver is AR. Um, so, I, I th yeah, I think I'll, I'll go for gold. Gold? Yeah. We're going for gold. Let's find out. Is it gold? Yes. Silver is AG, AG. platinum is PT. Oh, right. Yeah. And okay. you're absolutely right, though. Gold is AU. Yeah. So, we get started. Three counts. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Fire it up. Not a 
bad start there, Chris. Yeah. It's not a bad start. That's going to squeeze it forward nicely. There you go. Good, good, good. One in. And we're nearly over the shot. Nicely done. Five across the tipping point. So we're straight off with 250 pounds. The money goes up nicely to 1,800 pounds. Jackpot counter's moving already. Two more to go. Drop zone four again, Chris. Please, please. Fire it up. the jackpot, but no. there's still a fair few on the bottom shelf we want to move to. And that's not going to shift anything just yet. One more to go. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Fire it up. Right on that back counter. Squeeze it over to the edge would be nice. Bring the jackpot down. Oh, nice. Might just squeeze past it and get the jackpot to the edge. There you go. So it's on the edge. It's all right. You can move that double forward as well nicely. And we'll take all those counters too. Another five across the tipping point, so another 250 pounds. Takes over 2,000 for 2,050. The jackpot counter nicely lined up and is right on the edge of that top shelf. It's a really good start, Chris. OK, let's go back to the categories. TV, it's um, not such a strong subject for me. I'll, uh, I'll go for two, I think. All right, TV for two, please. Which British comedy actor starred as the title character in the TV series Mr Bean? Oh, yeah. Lenny uh... Henry, Rick Mayle or Rowan Atkinson? Yeah, I, th I think I know this one. It's um, it's neither of the first two. It's uh, it's Rowan Atkinson. Please. Rowan Atkinson. Yep. All right, we're going to go with Rowan, please. Mr. Bean. Is he played by Rowan Atkinson? <laughs> yes, he is. Well done. Lovely. Right. Worth going for two because we've got ourselves two counters. Yeah. Job zone four. Yes, please. Glad is that. Chris, no. that's so mean. Oh, dear. The kamikaze drop just comes out. No control. That no. was right on it as well, wasn't it? It was. Okay, not to worry. One more to go. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Light it up. Oh, nearly. Nearly. Yeah. Might get a little squeeze that hits that black counter. There you go. A little oh, yes, squeeze. Yes, yes. They're heading that way, though. It's all going yeah. in the right direction. So not as much moving as we'd like, but we're okay. Let's go back to the categories. We're on to the third one, sports. Another weak subject for me, so um, I will go for two, I think. Sport for two, please. Chester, the field mouse, is the official mascot of which football club? Swansea City, Bournemouth or Chesterfield? Oh, gosh. Um, no clue, really, in the field mouse. Chester the field. Oh, well, I, yeah, I think uh, it's in the name, probably. I'll, I'll uh, take a chance and go for number three, Chesterfield. Chesterfield? Yeah. All right, we're going to go with Chesterfield. Chester the field mouse. Is he the official mascot for Chesterfield? Yeah. Right. Absolutely right. Okay. Yeah. Right, two counters. Well done. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Light it up. So, come on, then. No more... Kamikazes, let's just get it down. Yes, stop, 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 stop. Now, if it hits that black counter first, it might slide right. Yes, there you go, like that, just oh. like that. Beautiful. 50 pounds goes in. Let's give you 50 pounds. Takes 2,100 pounds. OK. Love it. We're on the bottom shelf, Chris. One more to go. Drop zone four. Yes, please. Light it up, please. Double to the edge. So one goes down. Nicely, it just clings to the edge and doesn't go in. Ah, it dropped. It dropped with a few makes, though. Yeah. Six across the tipping point, which is 300 pounds. Takes you to 2,400. We can double it up, though. Right. We'll give you another 300. Takes you to 2,700 pounds. And you also got that mystery prize as well, Chris. You've won yourself two VIP tickets to a British touring car championship event. Oh, right. Which is great. really fun. Some of the yeah. best racing you get is the touring cars. Yeah. You'll oh, enjoy that. That'll be great. Yes. But more crucially, our jackpot counters on the bottom shelf. Sure. We're getting closer. Let's go back to the categories. We're halfway. History is next, Chris. I, I think I'll risk three. History for three this time, please. Which former British Prime Minister holds the record for serving the shortest time in total in office? Oh. George Canning, Robert Peel, or Charles Gray? 
Um, I've heard of the first two, but I don't think I've heard of the third one. I'm going to have to take a chance, I think, and guess Charles Gray. Charles Gray? I think so. Okay, we're going to line up Charles Gray. Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Charles Gray? Oh. It was George Canning. Oh, right. George Canning died in office. He was only oh. in, he was prime minister for five months. Oh. So right. that's why it was such a short period of time. OK, so the first little stumble. Let's not worry about that, though. Let's go back to the categories. Celebrities, I'll... Ooh, I'll go for two. All right, we're going with two for celebs. What is the name of Beyonce and Jay-Z's first-born daughter? Oh, no. <laughs> um, Cherry Rose, Red Tulip or Blue Ivy? I haven't got a clue. Do you know of Beyonce or Jay-Z? Uh, yeah, I've heard of them. Okay. Um, but uh, I don't, don't follow their, their life. Um, it's going to be a pure guess. Uh, I think I'll go with Cherry Rose. Cherry Rose? Yeah. We're going Cherry Rose, please. So Beyonce and Jay-Z's first daughter is her name Cherry Rose. It's Blue no. Ivy. Oh. Blue Ivy. Oh. Not to worry. If you didn't know, it was going to be a guess either way, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. OK. Let's go back to the categories. We've got one left, which is religion. We can still do this. OK. I'll We're... go for three. Let's do it. Religion for three, please. In France and elsewhere, the king cake is traditionally served during which religious festival? Epiphany, All Saints, or Pentecost? Oh, gosh. <laughs> the King Cake. Uh, Do you know those religious festivals? Yes. I don't think it's All Saints. I can't see it be any connection there. OK, so Pentecost or Epiphany? I'm going to go for Epiphany. Epiphany? I think so. All right, should yeah. we light it up? Yeah. We're going with Epiphany. Let's find out. Is the answer Epiphany? It is indeed. Oh. Well done. Oh, thank you. It takes its name from the three biblical kings, the three wise men. Oh, right. That's why right. it's called the king cake. Oh, right. OK. Great stuff. Yeah. Right, then. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Fire it up, please. So down that right-hand side, Chris, come on. Yeah. No, don't desert us now. Yeah. OK, we've still got a few to play with, fortunately, because it was a three-counts question. And that back count is not far off. That might just fill a hole. It does just that. Two to go. Four again? Yes, please. Light it up. OK, so on the right is where we need it, isn't it? Yeah. Go on, go on, go on, get there. Mm, nearly got there. That black counter comes down. Chris, Chris, Chris. Yeah. We'll give you £100 for those two. Takes you to £2,800. One more to go in then, Chris. Drop zone four? Yeah. Let's do it. Fire up four. Yeah, settle. Oh, now, you see those two on the edge? If they split as that comes down, would they would do it, would they, would they, would they, would they? Oh, no, they didn't. OK. Fifty pounds drops in, Chris. Right. It takes you to two thousand eight hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> now you've watched the show enough. Yes. So you know where we are. I do. We're out of categories. We're out of yes. questions. But it's not over. I'm going to yeah. offer you one last chance to leave today with ten thousand pounds. As things stand, you've got two thousand eight hundred fifty pounds. You can walk away with that money right now, or you can trade it for three final counters to put into the machine, in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. Yes. But as I'm sure you know. If you decide to take the trade, nothing else has any value. So you leave with ten thousand pounds, or you leave with no money whatsoever. Yeah. Do you think three would be enough, Chris? It might be if they were all in the same place. If I was playing for myself, I might go for it. But uh, it's more than I dare risk. I think I I'm going to take the money. I think. Okay. I'll ask you one last time. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money back. Congratulations. Thanks. Okay. Very Thank well you. done, Chris. £2,850 is a lovely amount of money. Yes, indeed. And certainly will get you and Erin to San Francisco to see her family yes. and have a fantastic trip. Yeah. However, yeah. it's right on the tipping point. Yeah. So we're going to play out this trade to see if three would have been enough, OK? Job one. And that's not going to change anything. Drop two. That's oh. another one. You've had two of those. Yeah. The kamikaze drops is right there yeah. as well. Yeah. So it would have come down to this, Chris. Yes. 
this was the third and final drop. I think you did make the right yes, decision, Chris. I think so. Less that black counter as it comes down. If it squeezes a bit, tracks a bit far right, it's not going to do it. Chris! No. You made the right decision. Oh, thank goodness. Well done. Okay. How are you feeling now? Yeah, relieved. Massively relieved. <laughs> yeah, you've made yes, a brilliant decision. Yes. You've played a great game as well. Thanks, Have you ben. enjoyed yourself? Yeah, great, been great fun. Yes, really, yes, really yes, enjoyed playing alongside yes. you, Chris. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Really thrilled thank for you. you. And you've also won your VIP motorsport event tickets yes. as well, which I'm sure you'll enjoy immensely. Yeah, it'll be great. Have a great trip to San Francisco with Aaron and make yeah. sure you send us a postcard. Yeah, will do. Great stuff. So there you go. Chris is leaving with £2,850. He didn't take the trade. Surprisingly, I thought it was going to go, but you know what? He knew better than me because the jackpot counter stayed in. Had he taken it, he would have just lost everything. Join us next time when the fate of former players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye.